Mangia Chichi, tonight we're going to be making a peachy pasta. Now, night one, Corona Cabin Cook Show. We're going to be making a super easy pasta. And this is actually a recipe from a chef I used to work for named Michelle. And I saw it on her Instagram, you know, a few days ago. It looks super good. Very, very easy. You don't need a pasta machine. You don't even need to know how to cook. You don't need a roller, a mixer, anything. And here we have a ramp pesto, beautiful ramp pesto that uh, is from a ramp field near here. And this is from last year. It's ramp season now, so we're going to be cooking with the pesto. All right, so first you start with half a cup of semolina flour. And if you don't have half a cup of semolina flour, that's fine. Michelle says you just use two cups of all-purpose. Or sorry, just not two cups, but replace it. Okay, then we have half a cup of all-purpose flour. And then half a cup of warm water. We'll start with a tiny bit less. All right, that goes in. We're gonna be mixing. I'm gonna add the rest of the cup. Half a cup. At one point, you just wanna get your hands dirty, wash them, but then you can go in. And this is basically a roll pasta. So it's gonna be in thick rolls. And uh, that's why you don't need a pasta machine, super easy to make. And then the ramp pesto. Ramps are basically a wild leek that uh, it's kind of like a cross between a wild leek and a wild onion. And there's a patch that's actually by my old school and I was biking to school one day and uh, I saw these ramps growing on the side of the road. So I just stopped my bike. I started picking ramps. All my friends just left me and went to school. I don't think they realized I even stopped. Like half an hour later, someone from the school came looking for me. And I was just kind of sitting in all these ramps, picking them and putting them uh, in my bag. And they are endangered, so you kind of got to be careful when you're picking them. But uh, we used to run a cafe at the school. And so I uh, took the ramps and I cooked them with these eggs from a farm we got and some Parmesan cheese. And then we served them on this like board from the woods that we gathered. Ever since then, I've been going and we got this ramp pesto every year which is delicious. It's basically just uh, not even a finished pesto, but just ramps that have been blanched and then pureed with uh, olive oil. Okay, so we've kneaded our dough. It's like that. We're gonna put it in the bowl and then cover it with a damp cloth and leave it for an hour. And while that's happening, we're gonna get everything else ready. Okay, so the pasta is still here, resting. And in the meantime, we're gonna make the pesto. So we take the mortar and pestle. Now you could use a blender, but we don't have a blender. And here I just have some uh, macadamia nuts and some almonds that I've toasted, uh, just very lightly, but to give some uh, extra flavor. So we put those into the mortar and pestle. And then uh, we're just gonna take the pestle and we're just gonna start to crush these up. And you want them to be pretty small, so really just go until it's almost like a paste. All right, so keep going. It's starting to, starting to get broken up, but we're gonna keep going. These are done now. It's just a small crumb. And we're gonna take this and put it back into the pan. Then we take the ramp pesto. Here, the ramp pesto. Oh, I wish you could smell. But it's like the garlic and everything, the whole room smells. So we're gonna take a spoon. And uh, again, this is like a very simple, just olive oil on the ramps. A nice scoop of that in there. Oh yeah. Oh, it smells so nice. Just wait till we get some Parmesan cheese. Oh, okay. Now we're gonna take some olive oil. We're just gonna start to mix this. All right, mix, mix, mix. And if you don't have nuts at home, you could use breadcrumbs too. It doesn't really matter. Traditionally, it would be pine nuts, but I didn't have any pine nuts. So I'm just gonna keep mixing that. And this is a pretty rustic uh, pesto because it's pretty thick. We're gonna add you know, the nuts, like generally it'd be a lot smoother. We're gonna do salt, salt. I don't know how salty the ramps are, so just a bit to start. Fresh ground black pepper. It's smelling so nice. Keep mixing that. And we're gonna warm this over the stove after, but just a little taste. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So then some Parmesan cheese. Just grate it in. All right. Mix that up. 
Oh, and look at that pesto. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to add a tiny bit more oil. And I don't even think I need the fresh uh, lemon because it's actually, this lemon olive oil is really nice. You see the consistency here now? So we're going to set that aside. So here we got our pasta water. And please, don't undersalt your pasta water. You know, I actually forgot to add the salt to the dough, so we got our salt here, and it's not that much water, but we're gonna add a lot of salt. You know what I mean? It should taste like the ocean. So now we're gonna put this on the stove, let that sit, we're gonna roll our pasta, and then we're almost ready for dinner. Okay, our pasta's been sitting for about an hour, the water is on the boil, so we take it off, look at that dough. So nice. We gotta get more flour. Okay, uh, oh, oh, all purpose doesn't really matter, but I'm just gonna flour the surface lightly, okay? Flour the surface. Don't want it to stick. Okay, so we'll keep this, uh, we're running out of room here, but up there. And maybe we'll move the candle too over to the table. Now, I'm gonna break this into a ball, keep the cloth on the other half, okay? And then uh, we're gonna roll this out. If you don't have a rolling pin, that's fine. Use a wine bottle. If you don't have a wine bottle or a rolling pin, you probably don't like food, so I don't know what you should do, but you know, just roll it out by hand. We're going like this, rolling it into a square, basically. Traditionally, these are pretty long, but I don't have so much space, so I'm gonna do a pretty, you know, fairly short version. We're rolling, we're rolling. And then, you know, about that thickness. I don't know how thick that is, but that's it's a good thickness, I think. And then we grab our knife, and we're just gonna cut this into strips, okay? Nice strips that we can then roll. So ready? One strip, two strip, three strip. And this is why you don't need a machine because everything is just done by hand. Beautiful. We're gonna take these strips. You know, we have the strip here, right? And we're gonna roll it into a pasta. And you can do this by stretching it, by pulling it, you know, get it into that shape. And you can kind of choose how thick you want this to be. Doesn't really matter, but Whatever, whatever you think will, will taste good. Depends on your sauce. And traditionally, I don't think this would be with a pesto, but it would be with a tomato-based sauce. We're adapting tradition out here in quarantine. We're gonna flour a plate. Oh, I need my flour again. Okay, so, flour your plate. You could use a tray, that'd probably be better. So, pasta number one. Okay, we're gonna make a pasta number two. Stretch it, we stretch it, we stretch it, we roll it, we roll it. Okay, roll the stretch, roll the stretch. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Can smell the ramps. Oh yeah. In the cabin, cooking the pasta, cooking the ramps, cooking everything. You, you should make them the same length, or sorry, thickness. So you know, if you got one a certain thickness, you probably wanna make the other one the same so they cook the same. I think they might actually be thicker than the traditional one. I'm not too sure, but Again, it doesn't really matter. Whatever whatever you feel in your heart. What, what the thickness you feel in your heart is the one you put in the pasta. As fast as we can, we sing a song. We make it the pasta. We make it the pasta. Okay, we make it the peachy. We make it the peachy pasta. We make it the peachy pasta in the pasta. Okay, so we make it the peachy pasta. Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, pasta number three. Is it done? Now, it's better if you get rid of those lines there. I don't know if you can see, but... I think I cut them a bit thin, so it's, it's a bit hard for me to roll it enough. So uh, don't do that. It's like a pasta grannies. Everyone watch the Instagram pasta grannies. All the grannies making the pasta. Oh, it's so good. You could just watch it all day. Okay. How many pasta I make? Okay, so we got our beautiful peachy right here, right here. Beautiful peachy. And uh, we got our water inside here, just heating up. It's now at a boil. Pasta goes into the pot. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Right in there. And then uh, give it a stir with the back of this spoon. And I'm just going to pop the lid back on there until it comes until up to it a boil. To oh, boil. that is oh. hot. Mother hell. Don't touch the hot lid. So, next thing we got is we got our uh, kale here from earlier. Beautiful kale that we made. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some of it. And we're gonna just put it into this uh, strainer, and I've rinsed it because it was pretty salty. And we're just gonna char this over the embers. And that's gonna be the base of our pasta. So just let that basket sit in there. Oh, it's gonna be nice. 
just the basket sitting inside and uh, don't let the basket burn, the wood on the basket. But you wanted a bit charred, a bit charred right there. And uh, our pasta, we might need to pop back in here where it's a bit hotter because I don't think it's boiling quite yet. Pasta, we just want to bring that up to a boil so we pop it inside and heat up our plate. Hot food, you put a hot plate. Comes nice. Oh my god, it's so good. I love the fucking taco. It's good taco. Take the tongs and just spoon that in. Oh yeah. And you want to get a bit of pasta water because it's nice starchy. It's going to, you know, add to our, our pesto there. So we pop all our, our, our peachy inside. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful pasta. We're just tossing it in there. All right. Okay, okay, our peachy. Okay, our kale's been a bit charred. Heated plate right here. All right. Bit of, bit of char, bit of smokiness in there. And then uh, we're gonna leave that on the bottom, okay? Leave that on the bottom, and then we're gonna put this on to get hot, right? Our peachy's here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go peachy on top. Oh, smells so good. You can smell the ramps. Okay, that's nice. Bit of kale. And then we'll take a bit of the fresh, fresh, we can, uh, no fresh, no fresh, no fresh. Not today, not today. And last thing is a bit of parmigiano reggiano, okay? On top, we go, oh, frig. Okay, you can still use it, it's okay. Oh, on top, on top, oh. Okay. Mama mia. And then we finish with a tiny bit of the extra virgin olive oil, just right on top. Okay, finito, oh, and some uh, fresh cracked black pepper on top of that. Wow, look at that. So beautiful. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, so nice. Okay, we sit down to eat. Look at this beautiful, beautiful pasta we made. Okay, we're gonna try this. Let's go. Some peachy with the ramps and the spinach, not the spinach, the kale over the fire. Oh! Mamma mia! Wow! Please. I tell you, you gotta make it. Please just try making it. Delicious. Cheers.